Hey, what's up everybody? Stealth Dragon for Life, and this video is going to be discussing the 1440p at 120 frames for multiplayer fighting, first person shooters, everything that's got to do with competitive gaming, okay? Let me explain the advantages of 1440p at 120 frames per second. Okay, so if you want to change that, you go into your settings, and from your settings, you're going to go to the video output where it says display and sound. You're going to click that, and what you have here is 4K at 60. 4K, if you have a 4K TV, you're going to have native 4K gaming. The disadvantage of having 4K at 60 is clearly the machine is pushing more of its limit. So sometimes if you feel like the game is not as in, as precise with the button pressing and trying to stay alive, do yourself a favor and go to the resolution and put it at 1440p. Yes, you're going to lose your HDR, but now you're having 1440p at 120, and what's happening is your machine has more room to breathe to be able to learn that it could adapt with a 1440p resolution at 120 rather than a 4K, which is all compressed together, looks great, but is making the machine run a lot harder. Now, granted, the Xbox One X is not exactly 120 frames per second, because if you have a PC, you know 120 frames per second is going to be consistent and smooth to the point where it's like sliding down an ice hill, okay? And, but... That's why they call it veritable refresh rate, because it's giving you a veritable, which is still pretty damn good for a Samsung QLED TV. So let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? You got 1440p at 120 hertz. Let's keep it at that, okay? And now we're going to go into, look at the HDR has been turned off. It's not really that bad. If you can accept it, then it's not bad at all, okay? This is Gears 5 for the Xbox One X. And we're going to be gaming at 1440p at 120. Now, your controls are going to be so much more precise at its movement. It's firing the triggers. It's not going to be stuck, slippage. It's all going to be there, man. So... Let the game just start up and I will show you what I'm talking about. And believe me, 1440p is not a bad resolution. A lot of people buy their monitors if it's a 1440p at a great price because they like that feeling. And I'm pretty sure that the PCs have a much better response with a 1440p than a 4K signal because let's let's admit the facts 4k has not been fully understood yet they're still working on 4k and trying to figure out all the capabilities that 4k has so when you have 8k that's already out it's kind of like well you know we haven't really figured out 4k exactly you know so that's my advice at this point and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Let the game start. Yeah, it takes a little time. But, here, we're going into the versus mode, okay? And, let's just go into an arcade quick play. So I can show you what I'm talking about, okay? Alright, so we want to... We want to pick somebody else. All right. That's the character I usually pick. The T-800 Endoskeleton Terminator. All 
Now of course, it takes a little time for it to load. Now granted, I don't have my capture card yet, but what you're seeing on the screen is very identical to what I'm seeing on the screen. It's a little more clear on my end, but remember, this is a recording. So when I do get my capture card, you're going to see exactly what I see. And the reason why I decided to just stick with this Q9FN 75-inch TV, it's not a 65, this is a 75, is simply because I was blown away at how much detail and color and resolution this TV gave me, okay? Where other TVs that I've had in the past didn't even come close, okay? And all the game mode options are just to die for, okay? And so, just waiting for this to load up. I don't know why it's taking so long. You know what? Let's get out of this screen. Let's go into... I got so many options now. Let's go to Team Deathmatch. That's one thing that's just very hideous about the loading times of these games. They don't want to load on time and I clearly just want to show you guys you know what let's just go to the campaign so you can see what I'm talking about because it's kind of annoying all right so that that's basically me and Remember guys, we're at 1440p at 120 frames per second. Now the HDR has been cut off, but it's not bad. You're still going to get a exciting gaming action pack experience. Let it start up and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now according to this Xbox update that they just added in October, it's supposed to, the games are supposed to load up a lot faster and run a lot better. That's according to Microsoft and their notes, their patch notes, but we'll see in a second whether that's true. Just seems like it's still taking quite a time. All right. All right, guys. This is 1440p at 120 frames per second, okay? not 4k and if you notice the movement of my character is a lot more smoother I don't feel like I'm blogging like a brick moving around I'm actually able to move around and if you look I'm pressing my triggers and they're very responsive as soon as I press it it goes into the zoom in view okay and my other trigger it's so much more responsive when you're firing so now granted the HDR has been deactivated and it's not 4k it's 1440p at 120 frames per second so it's going to be a much more fluid experience okay look at the way everybody's moving around and so you got to give it a shot and enjoy the benefits of it now especially if you have a Q90R you get the 4k at 120 that's a different story Okay, that's that's really good, but I'm going to stick with the 1440p simply because I believe that the 1440p is going to give you a much better gaming experience for multiplayer, and I can see it for what it is. Even without the HDR, this TV looks phenomenal, so I'm happy that they have this option. Alright guys, share this video, hit the like button, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.